Hello world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to CodingScientist.com. We are on lesson number six and I'm going to show you MicroPython toggle function in Pico or Pico. You can call it as a Pico or Pico. Anyways, we are going to write a longer program and save it as a file because the shell basically if you look at the IDE so if you if you look at the shell command which we used in the last two three videos two three lessons so basically it's useful to make sure everything is working fine your python your micro python code is working fine and to try it out pretty quickly however it's always better to put a longer program in a file save it and put it within the microcontroller all right within your pico so Thani can basically, the Thani IDE can save and run MicroPython programs directly into your Raspberry Pi Co. Okay. In this lesson, we will create a MicroPython program to blink and control the LED which is inbuilt within the Raspberry Pi Co. Okay. Let's see how to do that. So I'm on the IDE and uh, I hope the screen is large enough to see for you guys. Let's write a pretty sh couple of lines of code, nothing much. Uh, hold on a second. All right, now we need to use this box, okay? This is the shell terminal. This is the terminal which we were using in the previous uh, two, three uh, lessons. But hereafter, we will be writing our code directly on the editor. This section is called the editor. Okay. Now let's see from machine. I am going to import the pin. Import pin in uppercase. P in uppercase in pin. And then LED equals to it's the same code almost what we did led equals to uh, led is equal to pin and the pin is the default pin is 25 which is inbuilt pin comma pin dot out okay we are going to send the signal to the pin and then we are going to use the function called toggle led dot Oops, LED dot toggle. Okay, and the function always ends with open parenthesis and a close parenthesis. Okay, so this is the toggle toggle button. So what's basically happen going to happen is when we click the run button, right? This this particular button. When we click the run button, the Thony will ask whether you want to save the file to your computer or to MicroPython device. Your MicroPython device is nothing but your Raspberry Pi Co. Okay. So we need to choose MicroPython device. So let me show you how. If you run this, let me run this. There you go. Can you, <coughs> can you see there is a pop-up window? I think you may not be able to see because I'm just sharing the IDE. So in the pop-up window, there'll be two options one is this computer and the other option is raspberry pi pi co you need to click raspberry pi pi co okay once i click i will save it as a blink dot pi you need to save it as a blink dot pi you may save it as any name it doesn't really matter but you need to run the same program blink dot pi i am going to save it yes and i had already saved it okay now what we need to do now uh, once we once once we enter this as a blink dot pi, all we need to do is you should see the onboard LED switch between on and off. You know because we use the toggle function, it will just on for a second, it will go off for a second, on for a second, go off for a second. So it's basically blinking. So that's how it is. So let's see. Let's run this code and see what happens. So. You should see it on and off. Okay. Why is it not working? Let me just click again. All right. But I don't see. Let me see. Something went wrong. Hold on a second, guys. I will fix this right away. Okay. 
okay now it is on oh okay all right so i think <clears throat> all right so the way it works is let me click okay got it so the way it works <clears throat> the thani python ide we need to use this green checker box can you see the green triangle box if you click run the led is on if you click again the led is off let me just show you in the other screen all right so i hope you guys can see the led is on now okay now i am going to click the run button again it's going to go off can you see the led is off now i am going to click the run button again run and the led is on let me click the run again run it's off let me try to click run again and it's on there you go so that's the way the toggle button works and and same way you know you can see on the shell the commands you can see every time the program runs it shows up this line the editor content so guys i mean this is this is a pretty uh, these are some basic stuffs you know i am trying to show you as detailed as possible for at a beginners level so that you guys can get hands on practically doing things because as we go forward things will get advanced we we will be connecting multiple sensors start reading the inputs and you know do some magic around start to drive some motors start to build some you know different kind of gadgets and stuff there are ton loads of opportunities using raspberry pi co with micro the power of micro python all right guys stay tuned i'll be back very soon with you goodbye